did we like it? Guess you have to tune in and wait to the end and find out, or unless we say it within the middle. Hey everybody, what is good? This is your guy Taz from Taz and Philly giving you what you come here for reactions. So this is a special reaction due to a PayPal donation request. We thank you so much for those. Um, a lot of it goes back into the channel um, and also pays for some of the behind the scene bills that you may not know about that keeps the channel running. One being removing commercials while recording. Um, so uh, the Pretty Reckless, uh, we reacted to them once before. I didn't realize it was around eight months ago. Uh, I know I had liked them, but I don't honestly remember what the song was about. Um, it was eight months ago. We have like over 800 videos. <laughs> it's hard to remember. But um, nonetheless, I knew that I liked them. So this is a song I've never heard of before. And we treat each song individually. So hopefully I like this one too. I don't know because uh, we keep it honest here. It's called Make Me Want to Die. Um, and this is a PayPal donation request that goes out to Clint Shepard. Thank you so much, Clint. Thank you for your continuous support and thank you for loving our channel. It really means a lot. Uh, so we appreciate you very, very much. Um, we represent music appreciation. So please make sure that you support these artists. We emphasize this on every video because imagine if it was you. That's so simple to, in everyday life, if you just imagine yourself in the other person's shoes, it always gives clarity. So if it was you, wouldn't you want some support? Yes, don't lie. So uh, as you see, we already subscribed to them back on the first time, but this song is new to us. So I'm hitting like something that simple, like if you're not able to buy their music or whatever on Spotify or what have you, you can at least do something free and subscribe and like and comment um, to help them out. So uh, without further ado, I'll commentate more afterwards. Pretty excited to hear this uh, here. We go. Make me want to die I'll never 
I like that. <laughs> I'm giving my cards away early. Um, I like that. I had a feeling, I had a feeling that it, it was like a vampire type of thing because I love vampires. Plus, plus, I mean, it's talking about burning and fire and it's talking about you make me want to die. And it was so dark and like gothic, like the whole video. And like you saw like those burning embers going around. So I could be wrong, but it made me think of like vampire love because vampires can, um, in the light, they can burn. And then also, since they're dead, if you're in love with a vampire, you want to die technically to be with them. So it makes perfect sense. Even though I didn't see any actual vampires, everything that I just mentioned was vampire related. So whether it's vampires or whether it's not, the love is intense. I mean, to love somebody so much, you want to die, which I guess if it's not a vampire, then the only reason you want to die is like if they're dead and you want to you miss them so much on earth that you want to go and join them because other than that i'm trying to i can't think of why you would want to die because then you wouldn't be with them technically so um there's a lot going into my brain but it's definitely about intense love it's so intense you're looking into their eyes and like you can't you're so like uh amorous and um with them that you just want to be with them all the time. You want to be a part of them. Um, but it also sounds destructive because, I mean, you shouldn't. What? Yep. It's also destructive because you shouldn't technically want to be with anybody so bad that you want to die. Like, that normally doesn't make any sense unless I said it's about vampires or it's about someone that you love so much who has passed on and went to heaven or whatever. Um but it does, it is a representation of the of intense love of which that is something that many people can relate to like you want to be with them so much that you think about them morning noon and night and things of that nature um but she was saying in the video like she's saying I'll I would die for you I would steal for you so that's some intense damn love um so that's very, very apparent. So I'm sure many of you can relate to that. Like, let us know in the comments how if you've been in a situation where you love somebody so much that you just couldn't stop thinking about them, you would do like the craziest things for them because you were so in love. If you want to share your truth or if you know somebody to say, yeah, I know somebody that went through that. Um, so it's really, really powerful. What I love about a lot of music is how it's, a lot of music is so relatable. I mean, you know, you have you have music out there, of course, that's fun. And it's, just, it's all about just laughing and having fun and, and blah, blah, blah. And then you have your songs also mixed in there that are really visceral, that are about some form of love, intense love. And it's not, as I say many times, it's not love is not always easy peasy, breezy, unicorns, bubble gums and stuff like that. Sometimes it's intense. Sometimes it's painful. Sometimes it's destructive. Love is a crazy ass thing. Facts. So um, that's what this one is about. I don't love, I've loved many people in my life through the years, and I never loved anybody that much that I would want to die for them. Uh, you know, unless we were like in some bar shootout and I might dodge a bullet for them. So I guess, okay, there, yes. But that's not like I sought it out or anything like that you know what i mean i hope that makes sense but um and then getting to her voice then her voice was just really really cool i love how she got into the rocker chick moments and then at certain points she mellowed out and it was like really like soft uh singing i'm not a musician so i don't know the words but um i like that it was like a, it was like a verbal vocal roller coaster so when it got loud and then it got really soft and intimate um, and then the guy, like, I like the little depth or layer that it added when he chimed in, make me want to die. That was out of left field. I was like, oh, I thought it was just her singing. So it was really, really cool. So overall, yes, this comes to the part of the show. We always do our thumbs up, pass if we like a song, thumbs down, ass if we don't. I gave it away. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, so the Pretty Reckless. So thank you so much for um, requesting this song. Um, it, I appreciate it actually because like I said it's been a while I didn't realize it was eight months ago that we reacted to them um, but now we can change that that was eight minutes ago <laughs>
anyway, this is Taz with Taz in Philly. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you're having a good day. Um, sometimes we have bad days. What I've learned is sometimes it can be as simple as taking like 10 seconds, uh, 20 seconds total, like a 10 seconds of deep, slow inhale, 10 seconds of slow exhale. And what that does, I think it releases like endorphins in your brain and it helps to calm you down like if you're in a hectic situation. So just a little tip. I'm not a doctor, but something like that I can tell you. But it has to be slow. You can't breathe in fast because we do that anyway. So I uh, hope that helps. But this is Taz with Taz and Philly, and I want you to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>